Hey, hello friends. Welcome again to another session on sequence in series. In the previous session, we talked about the definitions of sequence, definition of series, types of sequences. We saw, we saw finite, infinite sequence, and we started understanding the terminologies associated with this particular topic. And one of them was to define the nth term. So we used to define nth term like that. So one notation was of the nth term, right? And we express this as T n, and this is nth term. That is a term which is positioned at nth place, or right? So example, let's try and understand using an example. So we said uh, if the sequence is something like one, three, five, seven, and nine, so odd integers are there. Then this is certainly T one. So this is T one. This is T two, right? This is T three. Right, so this subscript, this sus subscript, represents an index or the position, correct, or the position of the particular term from the beginning. I hope this is clear. And this term terminology we are going to use multiple number of times. The same terminology is similar to a n or u n, as I discussed last time also. So anything can be used to denote a nth position. Number in that particular sequence, right? Now, once that is clear, then we are going to discuss about you know uh, two types of sequences in this case. So uh, let's under understand other typification. So last time we did finite infinite series here or sequence here. Let's say one is when the nth term is a direct function of n. That is, you can have a formula. Kind of a thing formula. Actually, it's a relation. So a formula slash, let's say relation in n, in n, which which determines and determines p n nth term, right? So p n is a function of f n. So example. So let's take example. T n is given by let's say n itself the most basic example could be tn is equal to n itself so what are the elements or are these you know members of this sequence so you can see when n is equal to 1 tn will be 1 right because tn is equal to n itself if n is equal to 2 then tn will be equal to or t t so let's write the subscripts as well so t1 t2 so t2 is 2 then for n is equal to 3 T3 is equal to 3 itself. And if you go on doing this, you'll get for any n, Tn is simply n. And what are these? This is nothing but all natural numbers, if you see. All natural numbers, isn't it? So hence, by this particular expression or you know this particular relationship, I can represent the entire natural number sequence. Another example, let's take another example, let's say tn is equal to 2n plus 1 okay so let's start again so n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 then t1 will be how much 2 times 1 plus 1 correct what are we doing we are simply replacing this n by the given number in this case 1 right so hence what is it it is 3 what will be n is equal to 2 so if n equals to 2 so t2 is 2 into 2 plus 1 and hence it is 5 correct for n is equal to 3 t3 will be 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 7 and so on and so forth you can you know so let's say now someone asks you a hey, find the tenth number in this sequence right tenth number n is equal to 10 so tenth number that means what will be the tenth number in this sequence so i don't really need to go one by one to each one of the you know uh, terms in the sequence to find out t10 i can directly deploy the formula 2 into 10 plus 1 is 21 right so the tenth term will be 21 similarly if someone asks find out hundredth number so t100 i don't need to calculate one by one each at a time i simply deploy this and one so it is 2 not 1 right so this is the beauty of you know this uh, sequence that if you have a relationship known you can find out any position number okay any position number this is one way of expressing 
or let's say one one type of sequence another type so this was type a if you see this was type let's say this is type a where tn is a function of the n itself right now what happens in the other type type b is nothing but the nth term is a function of previous terms okay so tn is a function of let's say tn minus 1 tn minus 2 or however possible right very simple how can you you know um let's take an example then so let's say tn is equal to 2 times tn minus 1 so i hope you understand what is tn and tn minus 1 so in any given sequence for example 1 3 5 7 9 this if this is tn then this becomes tn minus 1 that is what it means okay if this is tn then this becomes tn minus 1 one term prior to tn tn right so uh, let's say if we can start with this we, we start with certain assumption let's say tn t1 is equal to 1 let's say say assume we are now generating a new sequence so hence what will be t2 if you see t2 is 2 times t1 from this relationship and t1 we already know so 2 into 1 we had assumed it to be 1 so hence it is 2 so second term of this sequence is 2 let's calculate the third term of the sequence third term of the sequence will be twice t2 simply right now so hence 2 into t2 what is t2 2 so i'll get 4 let's calculate t 4 so t4 is 2 into t3 one previous term so hence it is 2 into 4 this is 8 so on and so forth so hence any tn for that matter will be simply 2 into t n minus 1 correct this is this is one way of you know uh, expressing the terms of the sequence correct so hence in this sequence you are getting 1 2 4 8 then next will be 16 next will be 32 and so on and so forth okay another very famous one in this type is the famous fibonacci sequence fibonacci sequence yep fibonacci sequence it's around uh, 1 millennium ad around that time um 1000 ad or 1000 1100 ad around that time this guy this italian person mathematician fibonacci he came up with this kind of a series one sequence rather one one two and three and then five and then eight thirteen twenty one thirty four fifty five eighty nine and so on and so forth so if you notice this sequence carefully you will see that any term tn and when n is let's say greater than two so for any term greater than two right right any n greater than 2 tn is simply tn minus 1 plus tn minus 2 right see the nth term is sum of the previous two so let's take random any term here so if it is if you see 21 21 is made up of 8 plus 13 check correct if you take 8 8 is sum of 3 plus 5 correct 55 is sum of 21 plus 34 okay so this is another type of sequence so we can you know um, uh, we can get two types of or let's say all the sequences can be categorized into two types one is the direct function and where the nth term is function of n and another one is where where the where the nth term is function of the previous terms and it could be any combination of previous terms not necessarily two or one or three depending upon we again typify all these type of functions these are also called recurrence relations and you will understand about this in higher uh, grades and then you will be analyzing more in, you know these these more in detail later on okay it's not that if some function is a you know or let's say if uh, nth term is a function of or nth term is a you know dependent on previous terms we can't have this kind of a relationship for this meaning what the same same term which is a function of previous terms can also be function of in terms of n so there can be a mechanism by which we can convert this type of relationship into direct function of n that is another you know uh, topic of discussion so we will be taking it up as we progress in this session so thanks for watching this session and uh, i hope you understood these two types in the subsequent session what we are going to do is we are going to focus on first category of 
this type of uh, sequences more and we'll see if a given sequence is given can we come back and find out this function so that we can predict any nth term in that sequence that we'll see in the next session